the scale and impact of plastic pollution, lost and discarded fishing gear, fishing net and trawl, has increased significantly and is likely to grow even more as oceans accumulate greater volumes of it. And the figures are terrifying. The negative impacts on our marine environment, our seabirds, marine mammals and human health, urge us to take action. It is imperative that we all share a sense of urgency and realise that it is within our power to do something about it. Today, the majority of discarded fishing net and trawl are either sent to landfills, burned or lost at sea. These methods waste all potential benefits from the valuable plastic resources. How do we find the solutions to these challenges? Plastics has pioneered an innovative technology, making it possible to transform discarded fishing net and trawl into new plastic raw materials used to create new products. Plastics has established an advanced industrial organisation consisting of a technology development centre, recycling facilities, plastic production plant, an advanced laboratory and a service centre. Plastics cooperates with NGOs, fishing industry and ports on the collection of used fishing nets, thereby reducing landfilling, marine pollution, CO2 emissions and the loss of valuable resources for the benefit of the environment and the surrounding community. Plastics' solution is integrated into a scalable business model and can be replicated globally. Our model is cost efficient, focusing on collection and treatment systems, enabling the production of high quality plastic raw materials for a circular economy. If you want to be a part of the solution, join our certification program designed for suppliers and producers our efforts cannot stand alone. We need to act now. Ambitious political goals, regulations, collection and deposit systems must be implemented to stop the increasing plastification of our environment. We must prove that strong economic growth and safer environment can go hand in hand. Only in unity, we can save our children of tomorrow.